Let's take a closer look at how long a composition takes as the input gets bigger. Earlier in this class, we designed two functions for reversing a list. The first function we designed for reversing a list is called rev. To warm up, let's analyze how much time is taken by the helper function used by rev, called at to end. Unlike the main function rev, the helper function add to end does not use any other helper function. It only uses built-in operations that each take a small and fixed amount of time, and it also recursively calls itself. We can use Dr. Racket's stepper to watch the calculation steps taken by add to end. Let's add the string man to the end of the two element list dog bytes. First, the computer looks up the definition of the add to end function. Then the computer checks if the input list is empty. It's not. Then the computer checks if the input list is counts. It is. Then the computer selects the first of the input list. Then the computer selects the rest of the input list. Now the computer is ready to make the recursive call to add to end. Besides watching these calculation steps in the stepper, we can also write them down in a sequence of equations, kind of like a film strip. First, the computer looks up the definition of the add to end function. Then the computer checks if the input list is empty. It's not. Then the computer checks if the input list is counts. It is. Then the computer selects the first of the input list. Then the computer selects the rest of the input now the computer is ready to make the recursive call to add to end. Also, we can make a table to summarize how much time has been spent on each operation. First, the computer looks up the definition of the add to end function. Then the computer checks if the input list is empty. It's not. Then the computer checks if the input list is counts. It is. Then the computer selects the first of the input list. Then the computer selects the rest of the input list. Now the computer is ready to make the recursive call to add to end. So far so good, but we're not done yet because the recursive call to add to end still has to run. And after the recursive call is done, there is still a counts before we're finally done. 